Today we're gonna be looking at a really interesting add-on called Simply Concept from the creators of Simply Micro Mesh and Simply Cloth Pro add-ons. The Simply Concept add-on is a tool that will allow you to create 3D concept art quicker and easier in Blender. Using basic shapes, you can block out your model quickly and easily. What the tool does is voxelizing your geometry and merging the whole thing together in real time. It offers basic shapes and boolean operations, combining them together and the result is a stunning and simple concept model workflow. After installing the add-on, go ahead and select it. You can see the add-on panel on the left, then click on the big Simply Concepted button at the top. Now you can see more parameters appear underneath, but most importantly, your mesh is voxelized. Of course, you can use any model to do this, and you can edit your shapes in real time without having to apply the add-on every time, but the first shape is gonna be the base of your whole concept, whether it be a mesh or a model. From the moment you press Simply Concepted button till you press Finish Concept button, you cannot add any shapes using Blender. I mean Blender shapes. Well, you can, but the add-on will not take it into consideration. What you have is a row of primitive shapes that are provided by the add-on, which you can use to create your concepts. You have a cube, a sphere, an ecosphere, a cylinder, a cone, and a torus. You can go ahead and add another mesh to the scene from the list. Now, if you move around, you can see that the two shapes will bleed into each other and they look like they have been merged together. And that's what the add-on does. It saves you the headache of keeping track of the topology and gives you the freedom to smooth everything together the best way you can. Now that we understand what the add-on is all about, let's look at some of the settings it provides. Voxel size. Voxel size controls the size of your voxel and it is better to keep the value above 0.03. Anything less than that and you will see some dips in performance because your voxels are gonna be way too small. There's also smoothing. This value controls the repeat parameter of the smoothing modifier. This will round up the sharp edges of your model and the higher you go, the smoother your shape will be. Quadriflow remesh sounds scary, but it is so simple. You can think of it as a more sophisticated remesh modifier that has been introduced since Blender 2.81. You can find it by default in Blender on the Data Properties panel. Under the Remesh tab, just select Quad instead of Voxel, which is selected by default. Next is the Shading section. You can control your normal orientation, you have a smooth and flat shading, and you have a checkbox for auto smooth. Underneath you have a button labeled wireframe. Clicking it will overlay the model with the wireframe topology. You have an opacity slider next to it to control the line's intensity or visibility. The next section is object. You have two buttons, join and separate. The join button will merge the two objects together, and the separate button will separate the object from the selected add-on calculation, turning it into a normal object. Next one is pivot. Set the selected object to either center, which is the center of the object, or 3D cursor. And there's, of course, whatever your 3D cursor is positioned at. One other thing, if you add another object from the list, say like a cube, as long as you are selecting an object other than the root object, you get another selection called mirror. And as the name suggests, a mirror modifier gives you an option to mirror selected objects on the X, Y, or Z axis. Lastly, you have the Boolean selection. You can see the big warning sign on this section because it's very laggy and it will hinder your performance. The developer put up a warning that reads, experimental warning bad for performance. Use the Boolean if you have only one object, not separate parts. This is literally just a Boolean modifier with few parameters. You have two modes here, onion, which will combine the meshes in an additive way, and difference, which will combine the meshes in a subtractive way. My advice is if you have to use the Boolean operation, but you don't want your performance to suffer, all you have to do is to apply the Boolean operation and then disable the real-time viewport display. At least this is not gonna be affecting your performance at the end. And you can enable it once you finish your concept. After you finish your work, all that is left now is to hit the finished concept. And the add-on will merge all the objects permanently this time. But you still have your quadriflow remesh button. If you want to lower your vertex count, you click on it and choose the vertex count you like. This is actually a very useful add-on, especially for concept artists and 2D game developers that are going for a more simplistic design. I can definitely see it being used more by 3D artists to create concepts for their work. This add-on reminds us of the rough sketch before the final drawing, which gives much more freedom to play around the shapes and geometries in a non-destructive manner. If you want to try this add-on, you can find the link in the description. Also, if you want all three add-ons, there is a bundle pack that contains three add-ons, Simply Cloth, Simply Mesh, and Simply Concept. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, 
you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.